Tiene que cambiar computadora a la teacher. No, ya volví. No, no, volví. Ya dijo. Tiene mute. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can hear me. You can see. Yeah, definitely, Alex. I need to change computer. I you. Are you are you serious? I don't yeah. believe you. Say, yay! We're going. We have finished classes really early. Yay! No way. All right. No yeah. way. We are like a crazy what? aunt. <laughs> like, like is, uh, yeah, maybe it's a possibility. I can take that into consideration. Very good job. Okay. Okay, guys. So, very good for the um, practice with WH questions and the answers. Now, as I said, we will need to continue with the simple present. But now we're going to talk about simple present with do. Okay, so let me double check right now and I'm going to share with you my screen because we need to double check this really quickly. It's really simple, right? Not complicated. Mm -hmm. For you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Who said, hmm? Who said that? Hmm. Sorry, I, I am, but <clears throat> it's. Ah, it was you. Okay, that's okay. Okay, I not a problem. Okay, guys, very good. Take a look. Can you see my screen right now? Yeah? Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, now, guys, we're going to talk about simple present with auxiliary do. Okay, in this case, uh, we're going to talk about um, positive and, uh, questions and negative way. Okay, do me a favor. Um, Gabriel, can you please be so kind to read for me the first part? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The simple present is just the base form of the verb. Questions are made with do and negative forms are made with do not. Very good. For example, um, let me double check. Um, Sebastian, can you read? Are you okay? Okay. Okay. Um, yes, the a statement. A statement. Very good. That is the affirmative way. Mm -hmm. Statement, do you speak English? Very good. That is a affirmative way. You speak English. Okay? Yes. Very good. How about if I need to use the same verb, but in, an, in a question way, using do? Can you please read it, Sebastian? Do you speak English? Very good. Mm. And in a negative way? You do not speak English. Excellent job. All righty. Can you see, guys, in the affirmative way, we, we do not use the auxiliary. We just use the base form of the verb. You speak English. But if I want to formulate the question using the auxiliary do, I need to put the auxiliary first. Then I use the subject you. Then the main verb, in this case, is speak. And then the complement, English. Why do I use do and not does, guys? Because it's two persons. Yeah, it could be two persons, but the subject, do you remember that yeah. I use do for which subjects? For I? You. For you. We. And for we. they. And for we. they. And for we. Very good job. Exactly. Now, if we make uh -huh. to a, the negative way, you see the place change. First, I got to put the subject. Then the auxiliary do, the word not, because it indicates something negative. Then the main verb and the complement. Of course, Mr. Moran as well. I can use you do not or you don't, okay? I can use it in that contractive way and both is correctly, okay? Okay. I know that you are about to, to ask me that question, but <laughs> I am going to clear it up right now. Very good job. Is this part clear, guys? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, Diana, could you please be so kind to read for me in the third person singular? Go ahead, please, girl. Okay. In the third person singular, S or ES is alt. Questions are made with does and negative forms are made with does not. Very good job. Nadia, could you please be so kind to read for me? Statements. 
Mm -hmm. He speaks English. English. Very good. Continue. Okay. Question. Do, does he speak English? Mm -hmm. Negative. He does not speak English. Very good job. Do you see, guys, when I'm talking about third person, I use in the affirmative way, I just add the S on the main verb, which is the main verb in this particular form. He speaks English. Which is the verb here? Speak. Speak. Okay. But, when I, but when I'm talking about he, I need to add S, right? So it's speaks. Very good. But in question, if I use auxiliary, of course, the same happens with does, the same happens with do. But can you see that this is a different? I use does, I use he, and what happened with the main verb? Do I need to add an S here? No. Or not? Why not? Because you simple form. Exactly. Because I'm already using the auxiliary in a third person way. So I do not have to modify the main verb. The main verb, in this case, is speak, stays the same. Okay? And the same happened in a negative way. He does not speak English. I don't have to say he does not speaks. No, that's wrong. Is that okay? So far, is it good? Mm -hmm. don't, mm -hmm. don't worry, I will show it to you something. You see, take a look at this slide. This basically, this slide is resume, everything that we have uh, double check right now in regards to do and does. Okay? For example, guys, for subject, I, you, we, they, yeah, we do have do, and the negative way, don't. Don't. Exactly. For he, she, it, we have does, and the negative way, doesn't. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good job. You see? And we have this complement. You speak English. You don't speak English. He does speak English. Mm -hmm. Repeat after me. He speaks English. He doesn't speak English. He doesn't speak English. Very good. Uh, this is, needs to be very careful. Um, if you don't have to say, I know live in Japan. That is wrong way. What is the correct way to say Something negative in simple present. I don't live in Japan. Can you please repeat it for me? I don't live in Japan. Very good job. Okay. She has a cat. That's a simple present in she a great way. A mm -hmm. Very good. Why has ha guys and no have? Uh, so person. Person. Exactly. And in which part of this sentence it's indicate me that I'm talking about third person? Okay. She. she. Exactly. She this is a third person she. singular. Exactly. Take a look at this at uh, this next one. She doesn't has a cat. Repeat after me, please. She, she doesn't, doesn't have a cat. Aha. Tell me, guys, in this particular negative statement, is which part is wrong? Has. 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 Why? Um, because. For that sentence, is the. The subject is. is Exactly, doesn't is the auxiliary in a negative way. So what in indicates me? Uh, we use the uh, the verb in principal form. Mm -hmm. In the base form, exactly. So the I do not, form. I do not have to conjugate the base form. In this case, the verb have in a third person as I have done in the affirmative way, because the auxiliary is already telling me that the sentence is in third person. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So what, what, how has to be the, uh, what is the correct way to say it? Take a look at the last one. She doesn't have a cat. 
You see? She doesn't have a cat. She doesn't have a cat. Repeat after me, please. She doesn't have a cat. Yeah, take a look at the pronunciation. She doesn't have a cat. She doesn't have a cat. Very good. Let's double check and practice the contractions, guys. Don't. 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 That is the that is the equivalent or of do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Exactly. Doesn't. 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 That is the equivalent of does not. Does not. 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 All right. Very good. Volunteer to read for me. Okay. Very good. Um, Claudia. Hi. Hi, yay! I say your name correctly. <laughs> you have to congratulate me. Very good to hear. Yeah, very good. Okay, Claudia, could you please be so kind to read for me this first part? And do I speak English? Very good. Gabrielle, could you please continue with the next one? Okay. You don't speak English. Very good. Charlie, could you please continue with the next one? Can you hear me, Charlie? Yeah, teacher. Can you please Sorry. continue with this one? Oh, okay. You you don't speak English. No, that, that they say that already. The next one. With the third oh. person. He speaks. He speaks English. Very good job. Um he... da, uh, Diana, could you please be so kind to continue? He doesn't speak English. Very good. Martita, could you please be so kind to continue with I don't? I don't live in Japan. Very good. Uh, Alex, can you please continue? She has? She has a cat. Very good. Uh, Moran, could you please continue with that? He doesn't have a cat. Exactly. And finally, uh, Sebastian? Mm -hmm. Yes. What? With the last one, please. The last one. She doesn't have a cat. Very good job. Oh, I'm sorry, Fernando, but your turn will be yeah. with the contractions, okay? <laughs> how do you pronounce the first one? Don't. Don't. And how do you pronounce the long way? Do not. Do not. Very good. Next one. Doesn't. Very good. And the last one? Does not. Very good job. Oh, excellent. Okay, guys, so let's go back together to the main screen. We're back. Yes, we're back. Okay, guys. So today we have learned, let's do a recap a little bit. We have learned what time of bird tense? Simple, present, or past? Present. Simple, present. present. Exactly. Present. Gabrielle. When do we use the simple present? Um, when for habit. Okay. And, and generalization. Generalization as well for repetitions, right? And things are scheduled. All right. Very good. But today we have seen, as you said, habits and also generalizations. Very good job. Also, we have learned simple present with WH questions and statements. For example, can I have an example of that, um, Alex? Sorry, I can hear. Can I have an example of WH question with a simple present tense? <clears throat> what does he wear? What does he wear? Okay, Nadia. Can you use exactly the same question, but using you? Did you understand, Nadia? Usando you. Yes. He's, uh, Alex said he doesn't wear. Is that what you said, Alex? Uh, WS question uh -huh. is what does he wear? What does he wear? ¿Qué es lo que él usa? What does he wear? He, he, he? No. He, I want to use exactly the same question, but with the, with the subject I. 
I use uh, the cell phone, no? No, I, I don't want you to answer for me. I want you to formulate the same question, but not with third person as Alex did. I want you to formulate the same question using the subject I or you, please. Yeah, repeat the question, please. Go ahead, Alex. What does he wear? What does he wear? ¿Qué es lo que él usa? What does he wear? Do you wear t-shirt? No, you're answering me something. Mm -hmm. um, let me double check. Um, Charlie, can you formulate the same yes. question, please? Uh, for um, for the question that Alex proposed. She... Ah, okay. I, I asked the question. It's exactly the same um, question. He used... She... Uh, no. I think I didn't explain she myself all, clear. Uh, For example, Alex said, what does she wear? Él dijo esto. What does she wear? I'm going to write it to you right now, guys. What does she wear? ¿Qué es lo que ella está usando? Okay. Como yo estoy hablando de ella, uso el auxiliary does. Y el main verb que sería wear, no lo toco. Is that, is that right? Right. Mm -hmm. she, Quiero yeah, exactamente, well, I don't want to answer. I just want the same question, la misma pregunta, pero utilizando otro sujeto, como you o como we. ¿Cómo sería esa misma pregunta? What, what do? What does you wear? What does you? What does you wear? Or what do you? What, what do you do? wear? Exactly. Remember, guys, does is only for he, she, and yes. it. Yeah. Exactly. So, Seria, what do you wear? What do you wear? Very good job, guys. Remember, what is the structure for simple present with double H question? What we have first? WH question. WH. After the WH? Auxiliary. The auxiliary. auxiliary. That could be do or does. After that? Subject. 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 After that? Base. Ber. 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 The main verb. And finally? Compliment. The complement. Exactly. If you have the structure here, you just have to follow it. And that's it. Very good. Okay. Excellent job, guys. Exactly. Now, guys, could you please be so kind, Moran, to provide me um, a simple present uh, question by using the auxiliary do. The do at the beginning of the question. Do you... <coughs> what, what do you want? No, no what. what? Hoy solo uh, quiero el auxiliary do. Olvídese la WH questions. Do you like? Do the work? Do you work? Okay, who answered that? Ingrid, ¿me puedes contestar esa pregunta? Do you work? Uh, I work. For the bank. The bank. Do you work? Yes, I do. Exactly. I work in a bank. Very good job. ¿Me puede contestar la misma pregunta, Claudia? ¿En negativo? Um, no. Not, no. No, I not. No, I not or no, I don't. Oh, no, I don't. Very good. Don't is a contraction way. What is the long way, guys? For don't. Mm, no, no. Do not. Very no, good job. No, not. Okay, guys, the difference with the simple present, the question that we have seen today, is that the WH question, the answer is long. Okay? What do you do? I am a student. Okay? I've been studying this and this and this school. But the, do, the questions with the simple present, do, those are like a just no question, guys. 
A simple yes or a simple no. Do you work? Yes, I do. Affirmative way. No, I don't. Negative way. Yes. Just that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good job. All right, guys. Excellent job. Don't worry, guys. We're going to continue seeing the same topic tomorrow, but with an extra information that we can okay. add. Okay? So please study. Okay, teacher. <laughs> All right. Any questions so far, guys, before we go? No. No? No. A lot. A lot of questions. <laughs> a good a, a question mark here. Okay? So question mark, guys. Because if I do that, it's a loser. Okay? No way. I, I say questions. Question marks. Okay? No? Okay, so if you if you come up with another questions, please do me a favor. Write it down on a piece of paper and ask tomorrow, or we're going to answer them, okay? okay. Please, guys, get okay. into the platform to double check uh, every every single class and also to do the platform exercises, okay? Okay. It was okay. a pleasure to have you here, guys. Thank you so much. I know you're tired. Some of you are sick, <laughs> but I really appreciate and happy about your commitment. I'm so happy about it. You see, have a big smile. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, I know you love me, but it's time to go to sleep. So, hugs and kisses. And I see you, all of you. Thank you so much. Tomorrow. My pleasure, sir. Have a lovely day. In, uh, sorry, lovely day. Come on. Lovely night. <laughs> night. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.